2030. What a time to be alive. I would love a banana right now. Oh, hi, fruit man. Hi, Mr. Customer. What are you up to? Just really craving a banana right now. Banana? Really? Take a look at the menu. There's no bananas here, mate. What? How could that be? Well, you see, bananas went extinct just last week. A disease called the Panama disease broke out across the global banana populations. This Panama disease is caused by a fungus called Fusarium oxysporum cubans, or FOC for short. It goes into the vascular tubes of the plant, which the plant uses to transport food and water. It grows and colonizes inside the tissue, clogging it up and killing the plant. What? Is this some new disease? Not at all. In fact, in the 1950s, Gros Michel was the dominant banana variety, but a strain of Panama disease had wiped them out, resulting in our reliance on Cavendish, which were resistant to that strain. Nice! But wait, why didn't it stay like that? The world ended up focusing on the Cavendish, as well as a few other varieties. Monoculturing just the Cavendish variety was efficient and worked in the interests of farmers everywhere. However, since bananas reproduce asexually by cloning, and thus have little to no genetic variation, if you can kill one banana, you can probably kill them all. Damn it, that really sucks. Oh, looky here. What's this suspiciously glowing thing with a label saying time machine on it? Ah! Oh, where am I? Oh, hi there. I'm Carrie O'Donnell. Hi, Carrie. So this is 1998, huh? What are you researching? The fungus Fusarium oxysporum cubans. Sure, the Cavendish variety seems to resist it for now, but I don't think it's as simple as it seems. There are multiple strains of FOC, but it's assumed that they are genetically similar. However, thanks to the 1950s wipeout, it's important to know for sure. My study aimed to see if the fungus had the same exclusive ancestor or not. Have you seen a cladogram before? You've probably seen this cladogram of primates that links them to a common ancestor. If we find a relationship similar to this, then the species is monophyletic, meaning one common ancestor. If we see the relationship between strains is more like this, then it is polyphyletic or having different ancestors. Wow, how did you analyze that? Well, we took a variety of Fusarium strains, including ones that infect tomatoes and other plants, and compared their DNA. We focused on two regions, EF1-alpha and MTSSU-R DNA as these regions showed the most resolute relationships between the lineages. Finally, we picked outgroup strains to compare the other strains against. Using a computer program called PORP, we analyzed these strains phylogenetically. Here is the phylogenetic tree of just the FOC strains, compared against the outgroup. The strains appear to be polyphyletic, as they do not occur along the same branch. We also compared their chromosome numbers, and we found that they differed between lineages. For example, if we look at two lineages of Fusarium oxysporum cubans and their cumulative chromosome frequencies, far more C2 isolates have chromosome number 9 and 10 compared to C1, and so on. The conclusion from both this and the phylogenetic analyses is that the fungi that cause Panama disease have different ancestors, and thus multiple evolutionary origins. Yikes, that is terrifying! Why is that bad? These strains could have different pathogenetic properties. To control them, you must be able to address them individually. Wow, thanks for that. Ah! Wow, where am I? The year 2022? Yup, welcome to my lab. I'm getting deja vu. How's the Panama disease now? Well, outbreaks have occurred across the world, but scientists have been hard at work addressing these strains individually. For example, Fusarium oxysporum cubans tropical race 4 has been identified in India using race-specific markers. Our ability to identify the pathogen has become incredibly powerful. The next step is to work on control measures that can actually stop and eventually eradicate these fungi individually. Go science! So, do you have bananas? <sighs> to you, the viewer, the future you saw isn't too far off. Experts say that it isn't a question of if bananas will go extinct, it's a question of when.